Hello and welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching The Haunting of Bly Manor, episode one. This is called The Great Good Place. I am so freaking excited. Hello YouTube. Hello. You have not seen me for some time, but we've been over on Patreon. I'm currently into season two of Battlestar Galactica, just Patreon only reactions. But this is me back on YouTube with The Haunting of Bly Manor. Now, those of you that followed my journey through The Haunting of Hill House know that I absolutely adore this show. I feel like The Haunting of Hill House was possibly the most perfectly told story in 10 episodes. I struggled to top it. It was an absolutely brilliant journey, an amazing exploration of grief, of trauma, of just being a human being. Um, it moved me, it impacted my life, like it, I just, I cannot, in the cinematography, the music, the acting, just every single thing that, that, that needed to be perfect to, to make that show, the exceptional show that it was, was. So, without further ado, we're going to get into this. Um, I'm going in blind, I haven't watched any trailers, any teasers, I've not even so much as seen, as seen a poster for this. So I'm very, very excited. Um, the only thing I know is that uh, some of the cast from Hill House are returning in Bly Manor and the plan is that it will be an anthology series. So we could have a haunting of something else next year and something else the year after that, which is just music to my freaking ears. I'm trying to bring as few expectations as possible to this episode because I think coming off Hill House, ugh, I don't know how you're ever gonna top that. So I'm just going in to say, almost kind of like I went into Hill House, really. I'm kind of going into this in the same way of just kind of, I hope it's beautifully shot. I hope it's scary and I hope it makes me think that would be a fantastic result. So without further ado, let's have at it. Oh, fuck off. But now alone I lie. and weep beside the tree. Singing, O Willow Whaley. Till my lover returned to me. Mm, I don't like it. Don't go into the red room. Northern California, 2007. It was a good year. Before everyone went tits up. You young people have absolutely no idea <gasps> what you are letting yourselves in oh, for. That was, that's so Olivia! To truly love another person is to accept that the work of loving them is worth the pain of losing them. And that's it. That's all. God, no, I didn't see her. I saw a dead woman, a dead nun, no less, crying in the corridors. We would not be getting married here. Okay, it's just a story. This place used to be a convent for like a few decades in the 40s. Oh, I don't like geez. these people, <laughs> just FYI. I have a story. Ghost story. Oh, my God. And if a child gives the effect another turn of the screw, what do you say to two? Like the, 80s. the teacher yeah. was by choice a solitary young woman. Come up to London in trepidation to answer in person an advertisement. Oh my god, is it her? Placed by one Lord Henry Wingray. I love it! Regarding his young nephew and niece, who were in need of an au pair. A full time position, it said, living at that. In his old family home in Wessex. A great good place. Alone in the country. Great good place. Whoa! Oh, what the fuck was that? There was there was a reflection then. I'll get that in editing. No, thank you. Haven't quite mastered tea yet. I'm used to it coming in a pitcher. <laughs> ice cubes. And lemon wedges. Well, it's a whole different thing here. Yes. 
It is. Miles, my nephew, is back home from boarding school early. He needs structure, discipline more than ever, I fear. Mm -hmm. Well, can I ask why he was sent home? Spring session shouldn't You'd end. You'd be hurt. expected to tutor him so he doesn't fall behind. <laughs> there is a live-in housekeeper, but the children would be your responsibility and yours alone. Don't call on me, <laughs> unless it's an emergency. I'm extraordinarily busy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Their parents, What's so the I have... catch? <laughs> I'm sorry. Thing. What makes a woman of your age want to give up her life to take care of someone else's children? It seems odd to me, to be frank. Hmm. Seems odd to me, too. The listing, I mean. A full-time position in a beautiful country manner to two exceptional children. <laughs> but I saw your ad six months ago. Uh... When I first arrived in London. And I have seen it every month since. What is the catch? That really is the question. <sighs> wow. His whole... This guy. He's acting this so well. All right, James. That <laughs> was the most awkward job interview of my entire life. So, I think we should toast to it, Mr. Wingrave. <laughs> We did find someone for a while, last summer. Mm. Uh, well, I, I suppose she died. It was her own fault, to be blunt. Her <laughs> choice, to be blunter. But she died on the grounds. And people are superstitious, especially in the country. What about you? What was your catch? I am... Um, couldn't be at home anymore. Hey, have you ever taught a classroom of 25 kids? No, I absolutely <laughs> have not. You try to help. But there's just too many of them. <laughs> <laughs> and too little of you. The ad said, two children. I could, I could make a difference. A real difference. With just two. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. And then it clicked. They've lost someone. I know what loss is. Think she's got the job now. He's got to give her the job, right? I got a job. Yes! No, I know. I know it's longer than I said, but I got a job. I'm not running from anything. And it hurts me when you say that. <gasps> oh, shit! That was what was on the bloody cab, wasn't it? Oh, yes! Oh. Uh, Miss Clayton? Yeah. <laughs> Owen. Hi. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. I can't believe it's in England. I had no idea. <laughs> oh dear. Spent some time in France. What? Studying to be a chef. <laughs> God, is that... Like I said, plenty to love. Can I get out and walk the rest of the way? What a good idea. No one's name has gone in, unfortunately, at this point in the reaction, I must admit. Oh! That was that song that was going on earlier. What a beautiful song! What song? The one you were just singing? <gasps> You're Miss Clayton! You must be. Mm. Oh, and you're so pretty. I told Mars you'd be pretty. How perfectly splendid. You must be Flora. Now, what's that? Oh, this. Just a silly thing, really. Just a moment. 
I look like a voodoo doll. What a gorgeous lake. Oh, you mustn't. It really is just a smelly old pond. And do you know <laughs> there are leeches in there? Whole little things like vampire slugs. Who needs that old pilot anyway? There's so much else, so much better. It really is perfectly splendid to meet you. Miles! She's here! She's here! And she's even prettier than I imagined. This is her! Hi, Miles. So pleased to meet you, my lady. Oh, well, what a gentleman. Hi. I'm sorry. Um, goodness, I, I was miles away. I'm Danny. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you, Hannah Crows. Uh, well, I, I, I see you made it in one piece. It was exactly as Lord Wingrave had described. A great good place. And it yawned open to welcome her home. This is a foyer. And it's perfectly splendid. It's beautiful. Come along. This is the kitchen. And it's perfectly splendid. All right. And this is Owen. He's, he's perfectly splendid. But you mustn't run on them. If you fall, you can injure yourself, and the stairs are not forgiving. Oh, not forgiving. Oh, just and hat, Do you see? And Mrs. Gro stairs, There's they're brutal that. on the knees, but oh. I don't have any issues. <laughs> Gorgeous. It is. It's a great good place and heaven for the children. But mine... Why is everyone repeating everything? And this is where our parents used to live. We don't go in there anymore. We don't go in there anymore. It's all covered up. I'm afraid this thing's closed at the moment. And covered up. But underneath it all, it's all just perfectly splendid. I don't like it. <laughs> If I got that welcome, I'd be turning around on my heels and off. Hey, perv! Oh! I'm sorry. May I come in? No, you may not. Perhaps knock from now on? What's his deal? Of course. I just wanted to say how happy we all are that you're here. You're full of shit, kiddo. Not much. I know. Just a little something to make you feel more welcome. Yes, uh... It's very pretty. Did not like that. What kind of tea is this? Yeah, I hope it's all right. I haven't quite figured out tea yet, so... Uh, it's fine. That was not how I was done. Oh, my dear Lord. Aren't you joining us? Oh, uh, oh, not tonight, sweetheart. I've got to go home to my mum. Disappointing. You sound just like her. Hmm? Is she feeling better? Much. Better every day, I reckon. Oh, shit! So he lives with his mother? Uh, lives for her more like. That's why I came back from Paris. Mm. She took ill. Quite ill, I've heard. Oh, wait, you're not gonna eat? Uh, oh, uh, yeah. I'll have it later. Okay. What's going on with her? She doesn't seem well. A bubble moon. Well, you're sure getting there. <laughs> Where did you get that? What? The butterfly clip. Oh, um, Miles gave it to me. He shouldn't have done that because it doesn't belong to you. I'm so sorry. I... I'm so sorry. What? Who... Can I get out now? Can I play with my dolls? Yeah. 15 minutes, okay? I think Miss Jessel just gave an opinion. <gasps> oh, Jesus! Me. <laughs> Look, 
Look, you can talk to me about whatever you'd like. About school. Anything that happened there. It's very kind of you. Good night, Danny. You know, Mrs. Gross seems to think you should call me Miss Clayton. Yeah. Didn't you like it? I'm sorry? The butterfly. Oh, I... That kid is creepy as shit. Bedtime. And I oh, my God. <laughs> perfect timing. Oh, yeah. oh, no. Who are all these? Why, they're dolls, of course. <laughs> you, miss, have a lot of dolls. Oh, and we God. are going to learn how to pick them all up before we go to sleep, okay? Put her back. She stays there. These are freaky ass kids. It's just lovely that you're here. Thank you, Flora. But you have to promise me something. Of course. You have to promise me that you'll stay in your room. Don't what? leave your room at night. Stay in your bed until morning. Okay. At least for tonight. Oh, you're gonna end up like the other one. An emptiness that called out to be explored. No! Oh, here we go again. Why? Why would we be going around? No! Oh, shit. What's that? Sick. Fuck off, tap. What am I looking at? Mm. What the shit? Oh, fuck off. What a beautiful day. Wow, I'll never get tired of this place, I swear. Yeah, you will.